So today we're creating a zero based budget for a single mom of two who is currently 37 years old and works as a teacher. This mom of two brings home a total of $5,600 a month in net income, but hold up. This mom of two currently has $205,000 in student loans and her payments will be kicking in this summer. So let's go ahead and create a zero based budget for this mom of two who is currently a teacher. So what's up guys, it's Shadetta from Cash and Curls and I'm back with another episode of Budgeting with Cash and Curls. And today guys, today is a good one. I am starting to notice that you guys are truly loving these budget with me videos and a lot of teachers are submitting in their budgets and I love it. Today we're gonna help out a lot of families, uh, specifically single moms and also people who are drowning in tons of student loan debt. So today is gonna be a good one because this mom of to want my cash and curls community to learn from her mistakes so let's go ahead and give this mom of two some guidance financially and let's learn from her story let's go ahead and jump into the video agenda first and foremost we're going to create a budget for help me and pray um, using the numbers that she provided for me Secondly, I'm going to add my special cash and curls touch to help me in praise budgets to help it become a zero base. Thirdly, I'm going to leave you guys with some recommendations specifically for those out there who are looking to pay off debt and prepare for student loan repayment. And lastly, of course, I'm gonna leave you guys with some homework. So if you're interested in watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're loving these budget with me videos. Do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post a video on my channel like this. First things first, before we jump into the budget, we must download my, my, free monthly budget template. This monthly budget template is completely free and it's very beginner friendly. So if you have not downloaded my free monthly budget template, go ahead and click the link down in my description box so that you can get you a free copy of my monthly budget template. Trust me, you're gonna love it. So, Help Me and Pray is a 37-year-old mom of two who is currently an educator and lives in Nashville, Tennessee. Help Me and Pray currently brings home $5,600 um, in her full-time job, but she also stated that she is in school, so she hasn't had much time to work her delivery gig with her being a single mother and working full-time. She does not receive child support and she has limited financial help, um, but she do plan to get started back up in her side gig in August of this year to bring home an additional $400 a month, okay? In addition to this, Help Me and Pray also mentioned that she gets paid bi-weekly and she occasionally brings in $300 every blue moon from her oldest child's father um, and she says that he helps her out a lot. Any that he gives her honestly goes to her children so that they can travel and participate in any extracurricular activities um, and events on the weekends. So let's go ahead and get into Help Me and Praise budget. So I have two markers here. I'm gonna be using this light blue one to represent um, Help Me and Praise um, numbers. So she stated that she gets paid twice a month. So she brings home $2,800 every two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that up here. Okay, and she also mentioned that she gets um, $300 sometimes from her oldest daughter's father, and she also brings home $400 sometimes from her side gig. So since this is not a reoccurring um, income that she's receiving, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these numbers off to the side. So we have $300. That's from um, dad. And then we also have $400 from her side gig. And I'm just going to put this off to the side. Okay, so that will be $700 for them total. So let's go ahead and uh, calculate these two numbers together. Two, eight. All right, so we have a total net income of $5,600. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. Okay, and what I highly suggest is when you receive this income from dad and from your side gig, um, definitely include that in your monthly budget. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into her expenses. So first and foremost, as her mortgage, 
Okay, and her mortgage is $1,224 a month. She has childcare, which is $800 a month. Electricity. Okay, and that is $180 a month. She has her alarm and Wi Fi. And that is $160 a month. She also has car insurance. And that is $107 a month. Aftercare for one of her children. And that's $85. Natural gas. That's $70. Um, Short-term insurance. That is $55. Life insurance. Which is $49. Uh, she also has subscription, a subscription for $12. And these are her fixed expenses. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add up these fixed expenses to see what our grand total is. So, let's go ahead and do that now. seven hundred and forty two dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down here two thousand seven hundred forty two dollars okay head and tackle our variable expenses so these are the things that are pretty consistent from month to month variable expenses are things that fluctuate gas for her car which is two hundred and forty dollars pet food which is um, one hundred and thirty dollars Pet care, which is $79. Groceries, which is $430. And she has beauty for $100 a month. Okay. And these are her variable expenses. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add up all of these numbers and then write the grand total down here. All right, so our grand total is $979. So what I'm gonna do is write that down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into her debts and her savings. So, all right, so looking at help me and praise form, she stated that she's honestly not saving much each month. She states that she's sending $250 um, and by the end of the first week after she gets paid, she starts to dip into her emergency fund. She said that she just started actively taking a stance to try to budget and so far she started to save $55 a month and sometimes she does um, $130 um, for Christmas. What I'm going to do is go ahead and include her savings down here. So first and foremost, she does save $250 a month. But she dips into it but i'm still going to include this inside of her budget and in the recommendations portions i'll talk on um, how to kind of combat dipping into your savings account and also in her form she stated that she is investing into an ira okay and she's sending 70 dollars a month into her ira so let's go ahead and add up these numbers at 250 plus 70. All right, so she is spending $320 a month on savings. And Prey has quite a few debts, so I'm gonna go ahead and start listing out her minimum payments for each of her debts. Since she currently does not have a starter emergency fund of $1,000 to $2,000, I highly recommend that Help Me and Pray continues to just pay the minimum on her debts, okay? So let's go ahead and write out her minimum payments for each of her debts. So she has credit card number one, Okay, and her minimum balance is $355 a month. Um, we have credit card two. Okay, and the minimum balance 
and the minimum payment is $198. We have her furniture bill. <laughs> furniture bill, and it's $168. She has her Peloton bike. Peloton bike. Please don't judge my spelling. And it's $100 a month. And she also has her medical bill, which is $70 a month. And then she also has student loans, but she's currently not paying anything on student loans, okay? So let's go ahead and add up these numbers to figure out what her total um, payment is in regards to debts. Debts is $891. I'm gonna go ahead and write that right here. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and add up our totals to see if we've reached our $5,600. So, so far we've spent about $4,932. So we have not reached a zero base budget. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that number down here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and subtract um, this number from our grand total to see how much we still have to allocate for. $5,600 right here. Okay. Ooh. And we're going to subtract 4932 to figure out how much money we're still working with. 5600 Okay, so that leaves us with about $668. That we're still working with, okay? So what I'm going to do now is actually change my marker so you guys can see some of the adjustments that I'm going to be making to um, help me appraise budgets. So first and foremost, I am going to include a tithing and giving line. Um, this part, this part of me is never going to change. So I'm going to add tithing slash give. So if you're not a believer, definitely can still give. And I'm going to allocate $560 because that will be 10% of her take home pay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add up these numbers again to see what our new grand total is for fixed expenses. So we got the 2742 and then I'm just going to add the 560. Alright, so our new number will be $3,302, okay? And then for the area of variable expenses, I'm going to add two categories. Oops. I'm going to add two categories. The first category is going to be an entertainment category for mom. Um, okay, everyone needs to find money, whether or not you're on your debt-free journey or you're debt-free. So I'm going to give mom $50 to spend on herself, and then I'm also going to include a line item for her kids, okay? Just like you, you have expenses, and you have children as well, and they have expenses and activities. So I'm going to go ahead and give the kids $58, okay? And then I'm going to see what our new grand total is. So let's go ahead and add these numbers. So we got the 979. Now we're going to add plus 50 plus 58. Okay, so that gives us a new number of 1087. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to go ahead and see if we have then reached a zero base budget. So I'm going to add up all of these numbers to see if it equals this $5,600. See? like we've reached a zero based budget our income minus all of our expenses equals zero everything is allocated for so let's go ahead and jump into the recommendations for help me and pray so the very first recommendation that I have for help me and pray is focus on one goal at a time okay in help me and praise form she stated that she's trying to do a lot of things you know she's 37 she's trying to save for retirement she's trying to pay off debt she's trying to take care of her kids and now her student loan is getting ready to kick in so in my personal opinion i think you should always focus on one thing at a time because when you focus on one thing at a time you're more likely to be successful and achieve that goal compared to if you were to try to do so many different things all at once okay i think your top priority help me and pray should be to save your starter emergency fund i would like for you to set aside between one to two thousand dollars 
for emergencies before you start tackling any of your debts. And I highly recommend that you place this uh, starter emergency fund inside of a high yield savings account. And if you do not know what a high yield savings account is, I do have a video on my channel, which I will link up here in the cards and down here in the description box, which will basically tell you like the five W's of high yield savings account, okay? So be sure to check out that video um, and definitely start setting your emergency funds and your sinking funds inside of this high yield savings account after you have decided what your number is going to be in regards to your starter emergency fund i highly recommend that you start paying off your debt on your form you listed out all of your debts which i truly appreciate it here at the cash and curls community i promote um utilizing the debt snowball to pay off all of your debt okay and the reason why i recommend that you use the debt snowball because with the debt snowball you experience quick wins okay so what i want for you to do help me and pray is to list out all of your debts from smallest to largest despite the interest rate okay so if we were to look at your debts peloton bike would be the smallest debt that you have then your furniture bill, your medical debt, credit card number two, credit card number one, um, your federal student loan, and your private student loan, okay? So I do want to just plug this into you guys that I do have a debt-free tracker, one for married couples and families out there titled We're Debt Free. And then I also have another tracker out there for singles and it's titled I'm Debt Free. So what I want you to do, help me and pray, is to go to my website and get you a copy of my debt free tracker. So you can make the decision on whether or not you want to get the we're debt free or the I'm debt free, um, depending on if you want to include your children in the journey or not, which I highly recommend you do. Um, I would suggest going on my website and getting you a copy because not only do you get the tracker, you also get some knowledge and you also get a on the road to freedom chart, okay? And this chart will help you organize your debts and list out all of your debts from smallest to largest. And it will give you a visual representation of um, how many debts you're paying off. If you're interested in getting you a copy of my debt-free tracker, go ahead and click the link down in my description box. And I also have a video here on my channel which kind of shows you guys how to set up the We're Debt-Free trackers. You can go ahead and watch that video by clicking up here in the cards. Um, and I'll link that video down in the description box as well. Honestly, um, help me and pray. I truly believe that you can definitely get that Peloton bike and that furniture off in half of that credit card number two paid off within the next year year and a half so my next recommendation that i have for you um help me and pray is to use the money that you're receiving from your side gig and your child's father to put towards one either your starter emergency fund or two um straight to your debt and with the money that you're receiving from your oldest um, child's father, I would like for you to use that money to um, set aside fund money for your kids. Having this extra $300 could be very beneficial and helpful, not only for like their clothes and their activities, but also for them to have fun while you're on this journey without you having to take funds away from your full-time job as a teacher. In the budget, you saw that I included align items specifically for your kids and right now the budget is pretty low it's about $58 but if you split it in half or you know you use the whole $58 I'm pretty sure you can find some fun very free frugal activities in your city um, this summer for your children in addition to that I definitely want you to include a line item within your budget specifically for you I want you to have a line item as a mom okay mothers out there you need a line item specifically for yourself whether it be for self-care or whether it's just for entertainment for you to have fun with people you love you care for your girlfriends your friends anyone and with that entertainment budget I definitely want you to utilize and tap into free sort 
free resources that may be offered in your community for your kids this summer so that they can have fun and so that you can also stay within budget. Check out local libraries because they offer a lot of free, fun, frugal activities and visit a few museums within your city. Um, and honestly, just go to the park, buy some little games, some kites, some bubbles, depending on what they like and just let them run around and have fun at the park, okay? It truly doesn't take a lot to please a young kid. Next recommendation is for you to consider tithing and giving, okay? So just by looking at your screen name, help me and pray, I can tell that you are a believer. What I want you to do is to set aside 10% of your income to give either to your local church or to a local organization or charity of your choice uh, to help you exercise that muscle of giving, okay? You can never beat God's giving, first of all. And if you're not a believer, it's always great to give back to organizations or missions that you truly support. I highly recommend that you still continue to tithe and give to your local church or to an organization of your choice. I know some of you guys may be out there thinking like, hey, Janetta, how are you gonna recommend that someone who is drowning in debt give 10% to, a, to their local church or to an organization of their choice? So what I suggest is if you're uncomfortable with giving 10%, slowly work your way up to giving 10%. Maybe start off by giving 5% of your income to your local church and then slowly working your way up to that 10%. Let's talk about preparing for student loans, okay? So the very first thing that I suggest is that you download my free student loan repayment guide. I created a free ebook uh, which gives you 10 easy steps that you can take to help you prepare for student loan repayment in less than 30 days, okay? So help me and pray. I saw in your form that you were um, that your student loans are gonna get ready to kick in this summer and you just don't know where to start. So I definitely recommend that you start off by downloading that guide because it will give you simple, easy, practical steps that you can take to help you prepare for student loan repayment. In addition to downloading my free student loan repayment guide, I also recommend that you contact a student loan counselor. And I suggest this one because this counselor will be able to give you specialized, individualized advice pertaining to your situation. They will also be able to tell you what type of repayment plan will probably be best for you with your current situation. When July hits, I want you to focus on paying the minimum balance for both your federal student loan and your private student loan, okay? I want you to pay the minimum until you're completely debt free from that Peloton bike, the furniture, the debt, um, the medical debt and the credit cards, okay? We're not gonna send anything extra to the student loans until all of those things are paid off in full. One quick pro tip is that you may want to consider consolidating your loans to make this process and this journey of paying the minimum balance on your student loans a lot smoother and a lot easier. My next suggestion is for you to work your side hustle more frequently so that you can use this money to send to your starter emergency fund and then eventually send it to paying off debt. Possibly look into summer school as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the homework. So my homework for you guys today is to first and foremost download my free monthly budget template by clicking the link down below. And remember, just because it's the middle of the month doesn't mean that you can't start practicing how to budget for the following month, okay? So definitely do not wait to the next month to create a budget and to get in the habit of budgeting. Start today. Secondly, I would like for you to check out my other Budget With Me videos here on YouTube. These Budget With Me videos have been truly an inspiration for a lot of my community members, and I'm pretty sure you can find a budget that will inspire you to get your finances in order. Lastly, if you would like for me to create a free budget for you, be sure to check out the form down in my description box and fill it out, okay? Because if you fill it out and you're very detailed with your numbers, you can be the next subscriber featured here on my YouTube channel and have their budget posted on YouTube, okay? Huge thank you to Help Me and Pray for submitting in your budget with me form. I hope this budget truly really brought insight on how you can make your budget zero base 
and I hope it provided some insight and some encouragement on how you can start paying off your debts, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you. Help me and pray for requesting today's video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, friends, never forget that you can win with money and I am rooting for you. Bye.